Okay, so let's do this example where we solve for the maximum bending stress in a beam. So what we have here is a commercial 2 by 10 wooden beam and it has a 10 foot clear span and carries a concentrated load of 1400 pounds as shown in the figures below. So this is our beam. It has a load, a concentrated load of 1400 pounds. It's 2 feet away from this end, from this support. And the length is 10 feet. And we're given the cross section here for this 2 by 10 beam. So it's a 2 by 10 nominal dimensions in this case. These are the nominal dimensions. What we're given in the cross section are the actual dimensions. So we're going to use the actual dimensions when we're doing all the calculations. Note that we're going to use these actual dimensions when we're doing the calculations for the 2 by 10 wooden nominal dimension beam. And we're told here to assume adequate bracing and to find the maximum bending stress in PSI is most nearly what? So we're given answer choices down here and we're also given the shear diagram, which is nice. Or we could simply draw that. In this case, it's relatively simple. But here, we're given the shear diagram for this example. So what do we need to find? We need to find the maximum bending stress. So the equation for that can be arrived at by using the handbook. So I'll go to the handbook. You might have this memorized. You might not. But we're going to go to the mechanics and materials section. You can type in bending. Control F. Go to bending. So here we have the beam section. You can go down. This is the new FE handbook 10.0. And we're going to look at stresses for beams. And it's going to be on page 136. And we know here the maximum normal stresses in a beam due to bending is going to be arrived at by this equation. Take our moment times our C value. C is the distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber of a symmetrical beam cross section. In this case, we do indeed have a symmetrical beam cross section. So it's just going to be the total height divided by 2 to the outermost fiber. And I is going to be the polar moment, the moment of inertia, sorry of the cross section. So that's the moment of inertia of the cross section. It's just a rectangle in this case. So we're going to use this equation. Let's write that down. So our maximum bending stress normal is going to be plus and minus mc over i. And we do the plus and minus because we know on top we're going to have compression, on bottom we're going to have tension. Meaning, so let's say I draw the neutral axis. In this case, it's symmetric. So it's going to be strictly in the middle. 9.5 divided by 2 in the middle. So that's our neutral axis. Above the neutral axis, we're going to have the compression. So we're going to have compression. And compression goes to the left. And below the neutral axis, we're going to have tension. And we know tension goes to the right. So we have tension and it goes to the right. Compression is going to be negative. Tension is going to be the positive. So that's why we have plus and minus. Plus is for tension. Negative is for compression. And we also can know based on this that the moment is going to be in this direction. So we have to respect that. And we know based on the beam, it's going to bend in this way. So we have positive bending. So what's happening here at the bottom, we're going to have tension, right? And at the top, we're going to have compression. So that's just a note, and that's how we can denote these on the cross section. So based on that, we can first determine the maximum moment, which we need to plug in here for M. And the way we can get that is by drawing the moment diagram. So let's quickly do that. We can draw the moment diagram. I'll denote that here. And what we need for the moment diagram are these areas, right? So I need this area. Let's call it A1. A1, the way we can get that, you can take the height times the base. The base here is this distance. And it's just going to be the 2 feet. So we take 1,120 times 2, and I got around 2,240, and it's going to be foot pounds. So keep the units, 
it's not inch pounds it's foot pounds so we're gonna have to convert that then the area for this portion let's call it a2 we take our 280 times our distance here the base essentially we're taking the area and that's gonna be the 10 minus 2 so it's gonna be 8 feet so we take 280 times 8 and you should get still the same value so 2240 foot pound so we needed these areas to draw the moment diagram so the way we draw the moment diagram here the line is just straight so it's strictly horizontal so we know if we do the integral we're going to have a slope right so we're going to have a slope at this point and it goes up it's positive 2240 so it's going to be 2240 foot pound and we go just at a slope then we know i forgot to write the negative here this is negative because it's below the zero so down is negative up is positive so this portion is negative 2240 so i take this value add a2 and it brings us back to zero right so you just go back to zero so it's relatively simple you don't even have to draw the moment diagram i'm just denoting it here you could have just taken this value like graphically you might have already known that that's going to be the maximum moment but note here it's in foot pounds we need it to be in inch pounds when we use the equation here so we need that so this is going to be our maximum moment and we're going to plug that in here for m so after having that maximum moment we can go back to this equation our maximum bending stress is going to be plus and minus the maximum moment is 2000 240 foot pounds we need this in inch pounds because we want the final answer in psi it's pounds per inches squared so we need to take out that foot so what you can do here we know one foot is 12 inches so you can simply multiply by 12 so that's this portion then we take our c value our c value is just going to be the distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber so this is our c value here for the top portion and this is the c value for the bottom portion in this case the c value is going to be the same for both the compression and for the tension so we're just going to plug in that value since it's symmetric so you do 9.5 divided by 2 so if i do that i got 4.75 inches inches and all of this is divided by the i i in this case we have just a rectangle so for a rectangle i is 112 base times height to the third so it's always 1 over 12 the base in this case is 1.5 1.5 inches times height the height is 9.5 and don't forget to raise this to the power of three so we have all of that let me just put this on the outside plus minus so the units look good here this should it, since we multiplied it by 12 it's going to give us inch pound right this is inches it looks good inches everything looks good here and you can solve for your maximum bending stress and I got around 1,191.35 PSI. So it's pounds per squared inches. And it should be C. So the closest answer is C in this case. And that's all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and let me know if you have questions. Thank you.